my Margie, I've sent her a couple of articles, you know, so recovery and solutions focused psychology is another term. Another term is positive psychology. And I know the who's who of who's in this industry because I try and coordinate with them to help them get them to make them do things for me. My philosophy is if I want to learn something, I'll go to someone that has done it at the top of the line and ask them how they've done it. So I'm only going to listen to you if you're really good at what you do. And, um, and so it should be. That's why coaching, which we'll go to next, what is the coaching? Values being through. Second job a recovery coach does. <laughs> Manager. So we've got Mr. Rockstar here. Which is very fine. <laughs> Comes in. We manage their skills, their challenges their realistic situation with them for them and facilitate their change. We manage the tasks that they need to do, the strategies that we set for them with them, and we ensure that the goals that were set in the first session 
are met by the last session, which is 12 sessions in its entirety. So I come in and we'll do goal settings. Every single one of you will have a chance to do that for yourself. Every single person will go in there. So I'm, you know, I've got two kids, uh, post-traumatic postnatal depression. So I'm trying to put my kid in the microwave, I'm drinking five, whatever, um, things, uh, five bottles of vodka a day. Just can't handle it all, or too loud. Whatever. I'm just saying. We have to then, you know, so now she wants to um, fight uh, the, the, the children that are living, she wants them to be able to see her at a different light. So the goal would be the best mother that I can be. So goals are always set, and we'll talk about that in the curriculum. So I'll, I'll keep going with what a recovery coach is. The third one is personal training role. This is roles that we play within the coaching series or the coaching. Personal trainer. Now, what is the distinction? It's about determination and motivation. Now, I don't know if any one of you have had a PT or someone that's rah rah them. Personal trainer role is so that you are actually doing what you say you're going to do. And they're there. So if you say, for example, you're a swimmer and you've got a trainer or whatever, so you you know, you do you have to do 20 laps a day for the next month. You've got someone that's there, then you will do 20 laps a day for the next month. If you don't, you'll do 20 laps, 20 laps, fourth day, 19, seventh day, 17, two weeks later, two. <laughs> and then he's like, no, no, that's not true. You just mm -hmm. missed that. You just missed <laughs> What, what I mean is, with the personal tra trainer and with that, there's usually, well, a good trainer will motivate the client. We'll wake up with them and we'll be there going, come on, one more, ten more, five more. Do it, do it, support it, and motivate it. Motivate it. And then the last one is, which is kind of what I said before, the sports coach role. And what is the distinction with the sports there's only one goal. To win? Thank you. So they must win. What do they win? <coughs> the goal that they set in session one. They lie. They lie. Of course. Definitely. Definitely. Exactly. But it's goal specific. I will be the best mother that I can be. So we do strategies. Um, learn about best mothers. Learn about the, the strategies that they use. What does a, fa a good family look like? Um, find people that I think belong in that category, interview them. So there's all these, from a goal, there's all these strategies, and from the strategies, all these tasks, all things to do that every week you must do, just like those trainings. And as a coach, you oversee it, you facilitate it, you motivate them, make sure that they do it. Hold them accountable to it, make sure their values of their vision around. So we'll go on to the next one.